Okay, everyone, here's a question on equations. The question here is, solve the following equation. 2x minus 5 is equal to 3 into 2x plus 8. Now, this is a linear equation in one variable because we have given only one variable, which is x here. So, let's find the solution. So, what we're going to do here is, we're going to use a transpose method to solve. There are two ways to solve this. One is a balancing method. One more is a transpose method. To solve this equation, I'm going to use a transpose method. So, let me write down the equation first. It is 2x minus 5 is equal to 3 into 2x plus 8. So, whenever we solve an equation, we have to go for the board mass rule. So, first we have to, you open the brackets. Like in a board mass, the first is a B, which is like a bracket open. So, board mass first is a bracket right and we have a bracket here so I'm going to open this bracket you can see that I have a constant 3 outside of the bracket so I have to multiply this so I'm going to multiply 3 with each number inside the bracket that means I'm going to multiply 3 with this 2x and also with 8 so this will be equal to so 2x minus 5 2x minus 5 is equal to 3 into 2x is 6x because 3 to z is 6 and then place a variable plus 3 into 8 is 24 so 3 8 is 24 now once we have done this we have to bring all the constants to the one side of the equation and the variables to the one side of the equation so here I'm going to transpose this 24 to the other side and uh, transpose 2x to the other side this is one way or you can transpose minus 5 to the this side and 6x to the other side. It's completely upon you. You will get the same answer at the end. So here I'm going to transpose minus 5 to the other side, other side and 6x to the left hand side. So this will be equal to 2x. Since 6x is positive, like it's positive, when you transpose to other side, it comes a negative. So 2x minus 6x is equal to 24. Now, minus 5 will become plus 5, like it comes in addition. So, 2x minus 6x is minus 4x. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. So, minus 4x is equal to 24 plus 5 is 29. So, we'll get 29. Now, here we have to find out only the value of x. We don't want this minus 4 here. So, what we're going to do, we're going to transpose minus 4 to the other side of the equation. So, minus 4 is in multiplication with x. When transpose, it comes in division. So, x will be equal to 29 upon minus 4. You cannot cancel this number because 29 and 4 are, they are not divisible or they doesn't come in any, uh, don't have a common factor. So, we cannot cancel this number. We're going to leave the answer here. So, answer will be 29 upon minus 4 or you can write down minus 29 upon 4. Now, some people in the comments, they ask me why we have placed a negative sign. The denominator should not be there. Now remember, if we have a negative sign to the number, the entire number will become negative sign. No matter where you place the minus sign, you can place this in a numerator or denominator. The number itself is a negative number. Now, it's again there's a one more explanation why we can place the negative sign in the numerator denominator because you can multiply the number with minus one and then you can change the number um, that's again a one more story like for example uh, suppose i have a number minus uh, or let me take two by minus three so if i multiply the numerator denominator with minus one right I'm not changing anything, I'm just multiplying. It's like I'm finding the equivalent fraction of it. So this will become minus 2 by 3, right? So 2 by minus 3 is equivalent to minus 2 by 3. They both are same no matter where you put the minus sign. Only thing is I have multiplied with minus 1 here in the numerator denominator. So here also 29 upon minus 4 or minus 29 upon 4, both answers are same. I hope this is clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.